Hello and welcome back to episode 274 of the Journey Through Games, playing almost every Super Nintendo game released in Europe and the US, uh, mostly missing out the um, sports games. But today we're not playing a sports game, we are playing Lock On, which uh, seems to be some kind of air combat game. That's pretty cool, isn't it? The way that uh, the icon changes. So let's see options. Control, normal, missiles, music select. That is pretty cool, the way that the icon moves from left to right. Exit. Let's go. Oh, we got a breathe in. Code Red Emergency. This is Jake Steele, Region 2 Commander. <laughs> the Commander-in-Chief and members of his staff are wounded. I have assumed command. Pilots will receive their orders directly from me. Here is your first order. A large number of unidentified fighter aircraft have violated our airspace and have commenced attack. Satellite reconnaissance indicates the intruders are have attacked our military airfields and are approaching the commander's aircraft. Okay. Roll tactical air command pilots are to scramble and intercept the intruders. Where are we? So is that Japan? That is all. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's kind of Japan. Japan-ish area. Okay, so we've got the F-14... Or the FSX. Uh, let's go with the F-14. The F-14D is a high-speed aircraft that can carry a heavy missile load. Its advantage is a long-range strike capability. Oh, I get to do setup. Sidewind Sidewinder is a heat-seeking missile that can follow enemy heat trails. Sparrow is a radar-guided missile effective without a visual on the enemy. change uh, oh I can change the amount oh okay well I've got all of I've got all of them 56 out of 56 okay mission one got a countdown to take off the music's pretty cool hopefully you can hear it ah okay so it's like uh, what's that? Oh, it's like um, what's that Sega game? Ah, oh, so yeah, you can. So L is like an air brake. And R is like for more speed. Okay. Oh, someone's got a lock on me. Oh dear. That's not great. <laughs> it's amazing how much... Uh... Oh no, how do I break a lock? Have I got countermeasures? Um, it's amazing how much things have moved on. But like, they, when I say they've moved on, they're not like... The, the, the same basic concept of, yeah, you're behind the plane... You fire machine guns and missiles, I guess. That's still present, but the graphics have changed hugely since this back in the day. Let's speed up. Ooh, no, I'm missing. What's that? Can I do like special moves? Pause. It feels like an early, um, uh, what's the early sort of Lilac Wars? <clears throat> like the N64 version. Feels a bit like that. I guess, yeah, the sort of the open, uh, 
the um, what's the word the open uh, open ended nature of it is different what happened there did I crash into him is that okay uh, I don't know what you can do about the the lock on Ah, oh, you double tap to do a barrel roll. But yeah, it's um, and maybe it takes a lot of time to get used to. But the um, yeah, it feels like you're constantly just. I guess it's dogfighting, isn't it? You're constantly flying around. It's hard to get behind them. Because they're, I guess, so manoeuvrable. Or, oh, and yeah. Uh, maybe if you. Yeah, like I'm constantly circling. Did I get him? Yeah, I did. Is that seven enemies remaining then? Can I just keep doing that? Is there... Oh, there's fuel, I guess. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. So that enemy E8, I think, is the number of enemies I've shot down, right? Do I need to shoot them all down? How many of them are there? Is that all this game is? It's so normally with kind of these flight games on the N64 and Star Fox as an example it's kind of on rails whereas this is a bit more you are uh, what's the word like <clears throat> it's like a open ended sort of you're flying around wow. um, in like, a, like an area and you can just go wherever you want as opposed to sort of being on rails which is a different thing, but I think I prefer the sort of afterburner and Star Fox style, where you are um, more more linear. I think it makes for a better action game. This is just uh, <clears throat> I don't even know how to avoid that. I'm just like firing madly and turning. Yeah. Yeah, it just seems a little bit. Oh, is that is that it? Oh no, there's two. There's two left. Hmm. Does this seem? How many am I going to have to? Let's, let's try. Go in this way. How? Oh wow. Countermeasures. Is there countermeasures? It just seems like there's. Is this just the entire game? Like, you just fly around, just, yeah, doing that. Well, yeah, so that is uh, Lock-On. Um, sort of a interesting game, I guess, but I, I prefer the sort of the more, I think the more linear, on-rails style air combat game, they're just, they seem a bit more action-packed. That was just kind of flying around and constantly chasing opponents to try and get a, a decent lock I guess that's part of the well, that's where the name of the game comes from lock on <laughs> anyway that'll do it for episode 274 and I'll see you guys next time